Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Vidro the Longest Night 100% Water. In this episode we are doing the Depressing Forest. Let's begin by going to our skills. I'm going to start increasing my attack speed some more. So let's go 0.15 and 0.2. That's the max. Down on the general tab, I'm going to increase the arcane stats some more. We'll go plus 15 now. That's how much we have. And let's confirm everything. Let's begin by making a left turn here. Or walking down the left path, I guess I should say. And let's talk to these guys again. I can't take it anymore. This place is hell. It's impossible to find any gold here. Who told you about gold? All I've seen is plasmodium of a golden slime. That there should be gold in it. Lady, don't listen to this moron. I'm stuck here because of him. I didn't say anything. You're the asshole who won't stop running your mouth. You were gonna say something. Oh yeah? Hey, do you want to make a small fortune, lady? Me? Make a fortune? See? I knew you were going to say it. Shut up. Make a fortune, yeah. You can help me find a golden slime. It should be quite valuable. Where did you hear of such a thing? I've never seen or heard of a golden slime. Anywhere. Ever. That's why it's so valuable. It's rare. If you find any, would you bring it back? I'll exchange my powerful bow for it. Just give it to her now. Why even bother keeping it? Fair enough. Take the arrows too. Just find it for us. So we got recurvable and 50 fucking iron. Holy shit. It's a lot of iron arrows. Is it too tough for you? No. No. Shit talking about too tough for me. Patience. I will kill it. Hey. I didn't mean to talk to you. Uh, we're gonna go this way first. We can actually go the other way too. Um, but this way has a save. Actually, we can always just go around too. Let me uh, skip all these guys for a sec. I'm just gonna rush it. There's a new enemy here, the wolf. Okay, we have an investigator over here. And I think this all comes to a dead end. Oh wow, he dodged it. Ah, oh, fuck. Got him. Alright, so this tells you Bufanite Lake up, Mindstite up, and May is down. So here's the teleport. Or hold on. I love this fucking spear, dude. This skull spear. I love it. It's pretty good. <laughs> fucking... This fucking spear is so good. Oh my god, I fucked up. It's okay, there's a save right over here. Hold on. Go up here. And where is it now? I think it's up here. Can I not get to it yet? Oh, there we go, got it. Ouch. We got the Ring of Thorns. Watch out for the thorns above. So this ring will cause damage when you roll past an enemy. So it provides extra damage. I won't need this for regular enemies, but I might use it on a boss fight though. Just to do extra damage when I roll. So I'll just keep that in my inventory for now. And right over here should be the save. Teleport. Or the statue. Owl statue. Here it is. Okay, so let's keep going down this. Skip that. Get ready to do this. And he's dead. I got poison there from the... Watch out for the poison powder. It also drops a poison moth cape. Let's see if we get it. Oh, we got poison needles. We can actually farm those guys for the cape though. So I do want to get the poison moth cape from them. Now come down here. And once you're on this ladder, make a jump into the secret area. These guys drop a item as well, and I want to get it first. So I need to... Get over here, fucks. Come on. How am I not getting it? There. You have to 
touch it with the pointy blade. If you don't touch it with the pointy blade, then you just go right through the freaking monster. So get the emerald ring, and we'll have to kill more of those spiders to get a special drop from them. But we can find them up above. If we go down this way, we can knock down the boulders, but you can also knock the boulders down by throwing a dynamite at them at the very bottom. And it's a good way for speedrunning. But I'm not speedrunning, so it doesn't matter. Oh, fuck. That fucking slide is fucking me up, dude. When I try to dodge, sometimes I don't want to hit it. I hit it twice because I, I just panic dodge sometimes when I tap it too fast. I don't really panic dodge. I just I tap it too fast, and I end up doing that instead of a dodge, which I don't like at all because it fucks me up. It fucks up my iframes. Anyways, knock this off. Like I said, you can also do it from the bottom if you throw a dynamite, and instead of going all the way around up here, you can actually just go all the way up and take the ladder and go above. But like I said, that's only really useful for like a speedrun strat or something. Oh, up here. Okay. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, so let's go up here. Let's try and get the poison moth cape first from this poison moth. Or the moth cape from this poison moth. Poison needle, fuck. We'll have to try and get it somewhere else. No skull hat from these guys either. One more, hold on. Duh, we have another area we can farm them, so don't worry. If we go up here, this leads to another part of the depressing forest, so here's what we want to do. Now this requires a special ability to go across there, but we can get there easy with the axe trick, so... Just make sure you time your jump right, and should be able to make it. Oh, I think I got it. Yes, I got it. So just do that to make it across. These guys are one shot to stun with this axe here. Jump up here and grab the triangular shiver stone. Now, we can't go across there yet without the special ability. I've tried making it with the axe and it's too hard. I haven't made it, so... You guys can give it a try if you want. But let's go down here first. Because we want to farm the pitchfork. And we can farm it easy over here. No pitchfork drop. But let's go down here first. So go like this, jump, and go like this. This will lead to a secret area. Here's what we want to do here. Go down the ladder. Make a jump to this secret area over here to grab this, which is the twin snakes. Take off the buddy stamp for now. Let's put the twin snakes on. It's an almond found twin snakes in an endless desert. Their hisses cause listeners to lose their mind. So this reduces all enemies' resistance for a short time. So we'll put that on. And we'll kill these spiders. Oh, no sky helm drop. Still got more to kill. Oh, that was it. That's okay, we'll get it eventually from them. Okay, there's a pitchfork guy up here. You wanna kill him. Let's get him down here. Anything? Oh! There it is! We got the pitchfork! So all we need is the spiders now. I don't know if I can slide back in and break that. That's the problem. Might have to break a dynamite. What do we get from this guy? A piece of wood? Holy fuck.
Yeah, see, it won't break again now. So let's go up here. Fuckers. We leveled up. Okay, so let's go back down here. We'll kill all these spiders again and we'll see if we get the drop. Oh, come on. There we go. Nothing. Come on. Damn it. Um, I guess we'll go back up and try the spiders up above. They're an easier farm, I think. Because there's a teleport right close by that we can touch. Here we go! Got it! Skull spider hat. Watch, they'll probably drop it like mad now. Because we got the first one. Fuckers. Okay, let's uh, check out that hat. So there it is. Let's put that on for now. There's another enemy I gotta farm. But we'll farm them later in the depressing forest when we go back around. So let's just go up here for now. Actually, no, not up here. Let's go down here for now. Into this next area. We're gonna get right to the next um, statue. So this is the peak of Weep. We'll do this really quick here. Because there should be a s statue of... Fuckers. Goddamn sign. And we got wolfskin headwear. Even better. Look at that. Health 10, poise damage 5, poise 8, defense 3. The skin head of a wolf that is usually only worn by the Amos Drifters of the Endless Night. The dozens of red eyes stare slightly with the infinite malice of the brutally slain. Let's put that on. Two um, helmets we farmed already. Now where the fuck? You know what? Okay. Well, we farmed the helmet. That's good enough for now. I thought there was a teleport close by. Oh, it, is it down here? I think it might be down here, maybe. No. Or is this? Ah, this is the mines. Okay, this is where we have to go next episode. Yeah, this is the mine site, okay. So remember this, because we're going here next episode, it should be on your map now. You'll notice in the very bottom right, that green door. That's going to be for the mine site. And actually what I want to do is teleport. To use the owl's feather. Let's touch this. Alright, so let's go back. Let's see if we can kill the poison moth guy and grab his moth cape first. If not, then we'll just go to the other part of the present forest. He did not drop anything, so let's go up here. And we're going this way. Make sure you dodge twice for that attack. Come on. There you go, finally. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to backstep. I meant to go forward. Fuck. Whatever. Whatever. I wanted to go forward and that totally fucked me up. So if that guy dead, you can also cheese that guy with the... You can also cheese him with this spell here. You can just spam the shit out of that and kill him really quick. 
Hold on. Watch this. He dropped an item, small shimmer stone. So you can also farm the small shimmer stones on them as well. Do I want to go down here first? Actually, I think I do. Yeah, this is a secret area. Shit. The thing I hate about this area is all these fucking poison thorns though. Oh, I fucking hate this area. We don't really have the special ability for it. Grab this, Thornite Crystal. It's the only good thing around here. Really. Or for fuck's sakes. And there's this as well. So knock this down and it's used as a shortcut. So we can always touch that and get an auto save. Actually, let's make a manual save as well. So I won't be using this um, shortcut right now because I'm going to grab the treasure chest now. That I skipped to quickly get the shortcut. I should have grabbed the treasure chest first so I wouldn't have to be an issue, but whatever. Here's the chest, it gives you an excellent saw blade. And you can cheese this guy by doing this if you want. So you just go like this and you can kill him really easy. He drops two small shimmer stones, so if you want to farm shimmer stones off that guy, you can do that. I'm gonna go up here really quick. This guy will fall into the shortcut. And we're trying to get a snowball hat still, but we can farm them right up here. See these guys? They're everywhere up here. God damn it, stay still. He didn't drop anything. Nothing. It's gonna be very typical to get nothing from these guys. Come on. Come right to me. Nothing again. Okay, this is a shortcut right here. We need to knock this cage down to the very first bear that we encountered. That's what that's the shortcut for. Right down there. That's the very first bear where we got the excellent saw blade. Which is a sword. Idiots. Let's kill this wolf. One more bear to go through. Level up. Okay, so we have to go a little bit higher to enter the next area. And then we have to go even higher than that to enter another area which has a um, owl statue that I want to end, that I want to touch, which is why I'm going all this way first. I'm going to show you another area soon. There's a few areas that we have to go here. A few different areas. I'm trying to see if I can get the moth cape though. Fuck sakes! Come on, drop it. <gasps> drop something. 
Moth cape, we got it, finally, 10 years later. Looks strange, but this furry texture cape is waterproof and retains body heat. It is a very useful item for those who travel through the wilderness. Ice resistance 10, curse resistance 10, health 10, poise 10, defense 4. Let's compare that to the wolf helmet. So this gives more defense, this gives more poise. They both get the same health. The only extra benefit that the wolf skin headwear has is the poise damage plus 5. Instead of poise damage plus 5, we get Curse Resistance 10 and Ice Resistance 10. So it's pretty good. I think the Wolf Skin Headwear is better for the poise damage because I don't really need the extra resistance anyway. So I'm just going to stick with the Wolf Helmet on. For now anyway. Unless there's a boss with some Curse Resistance that I need. Potentially. Um, I don't want to go all the way up there yet, hold on. Actually, I think I have to. Let's go with the Daggers here. The Twin Blaze, I should say. And Snowball Hat. Oh man, they both dropped it. Nice. So this gives 3 defense points, 15 ice resistance, 10. There we go. I think we have all the armor sets from these guys now. I mean from the enemies here. We collected a lot. We got the freaking spider helmet, the uh, snowball one. Um, the, the moth cape. The pitchfork. Got a lot of stuff this episode. Tons of stuff. Okay, this is where I want to go, right down here first, because if you go up higher, it leads to a different area, but... It's better to go up first, because there's an owl statue up there. So actually, let's go up first. Because then we're just going to respawn all these guys when we go off screen anyway. So... So it's probably better we go up first and grab the owl statue up here. Just in case we die or something. Because you never know. Oh, there it is up there. This is where the very, very top. This is where we get the owl statue for peak of wheat. So we'll grab that really quick and save our game. Make a manual save. And then we'll go down and go off screen for, to open up that part of the map. So let's touch this. Make a manual save. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's go down. Well, let's go across back here and we're gonna go down. So if you look at the screen here, we're going right down just below us. And then here's what we're gonna do after that, I'll show you. So we wanna land safely, so go down, double jump like that to land a little bit more safely. You can time it better than I did, but you, you get what I mean. <laughs> Fuck, it was in my fucking stamina. Oh, no shimmer stones. Anyways, this is the next part I was talking about. It's the peak of weep, open up the map, and you'll see that we're just below it, where we got the teleport. Let me zoom in, I'm right here, and right down here is where it's gonna attach. And then we can go right down, right back to the mines, where we're going next episode. So let's leave the screen again, right back to the original screen. Um, actually, this time we want to teleport. Yeah, teleport and touch the owl statue for an auto save. So let's touch it, make an auto save. And now let's leave the area here. So we start from up top. Okay, now let me zoom out. We want to go all the way up top here. So let's, let's go down like this. I get out of my way, dude. Watch out for this guy. He's trying to switch weapons. Oh, get over here, dude. No drops. Damn. Okay, got him. Let me get my flaming magpie. Okay, we want to make a jump here, so get ready. You might have to do this to get the extra leverage. 
Now, there's going to be an ambush up here, so get ready. Well, first, take care of this guy. Really quick. Now, here comes the ambush. This guy, you can see him glowing up in the tree. And he's dead. Grab the ordinary ring. Defense 2, poise 10. That's what it gives. Now, the main thing I actually wanted to get here is the hunter's house. Because there's two items that we need in here from the treasure chest. Now, this is an ambush, so let them drop, or you can do this instead. Just shoot them right down. He's dead. Okay, so we get Mazenite and Feather Hat. So Feather Hat's gonna give money drop 50%, item drop 15%, and pretty good stats too for defense and poise, so let's equip that. So our notes is, was updated for Miscellaneous, Gold Rush, and then Mazenite is on the bottom there. So by giving me a bow's down, playing the Hunter Brothers have asked me to obtain the Plasmodium of a Golden Slime. Mazenite. Found Mazenite in a hunter's house in a depressing forest. Maybe someone would want it. Alright, so there's a new quest that we just got from that item. Alright. Now, let's see. Okay, we want to make our way down. So let's be careful here. Make our way down safely. Oh wow, that was a close one. Where's the branch? Yeah, here it is. Um, let's go down here. Okay, we want to make our way... There. Be careful. Watch out for this freaking poison, poison moth here. Come on. Okay, got him. Oh, we gotta get this item here. And it's an Amber Spark. A yellow crystallized mineral is brilliant as a flash of lightning. This crystal can be used to enchant a weapon or armor, but only a competent blacksmith can tell you its effect. Okay, we need the next... Here it is. Let's go like this. Bam! Haha! <laughs> hey, where are you going? Get back here. I'll go like this. Can't tell from. Oh, I got one! <laughs> it's hard to tell if I'm hitting them. Uh, let me use this. Okay, I got him. Alright, so we're almost there. We're going to Cut Isle now. So keep going all the way to the left here. And you're going to see this. Now this might be too risky of a jump if you don't want to try it right now. You can go back and get a teleport first, just in case. There's that shortcut you can take, or you can just go this way. Let's go down the waterfall. Skip this guy. And touch this owl statue here. Now we got an auto save. So even if we fuck up, at least we have a save. That's close by. So we're going to cat aisle because I want to show you guys where you can reset your skills. I thought I had the shortcut down here. Guess not. Fuck, I meant to get the dual daggers out. All right, here it is. So it's not too bad of a jump. Hold on. Get out of here. So just get a good double jump off. You don't even have to use that axe trick to make it really, but you can just in case. If you want to be extra safe. And there's a bunch of platforms up here that you can land on. There's also a chest here, which is Meow Headband. This will reduce debuff duration plus 10. Now, talk to the cats. Oh, I haven't seen another person for a long time. No one comes here. Maybe you could introduce yourself and let my cats meet you. I am Layla the Vigilant. Layla of the Vigilants. I should have seen that coming. 
I'm always so distracted by my cats. I've been for you. Me? Don't ask me questions. I won't reveal anything that shouldn't be revealed. But I can answer all that you need to answer. Do you think God will tell you his will? No. Only what you should know. If you talk to him again. Hello, Layla the Vigilant. What do you want to do? Reset skill points and abilities? I'm going to say nothing. If you don't want my gift, do not waste my time. If you go to inventory, he takes a fledgling's blood soul to reset the gifts. Uh, to reset your skill points. So it's going to cost one of those. Now get this teleport and we can now teleport here anytime you want to Cat Isle. So if we look further, we have this map pretty much complete. There's a few black spots that don't really mean anything. So let's go to teleport, depressing forest. All right, so before we end the episode, there is one more item that I have to get. Um, we're heading to the mining site next episode, remember? So you can actually save your game. Teleport back and save your game after this, once we grab this item. I want to grab it now. I was going to grab it when we went to the mining site. But I figure I might as well just grab it now. Because I should have grabbed it before. I thought I remember being able to blow this up, no? No, I guess not. Okay. So you want to head this way towards the mining site? See, this is why I kind of wanted to save this for next episode. But I should have grabbed it before, earlier this episode. So once you get to this log here, go down. And this is a secret area. We can grab Scarlet Boots. Defense 6, points 53. It gives negative 5% attack, which is why I don't like it. The benefit is it gives mana plus 30, but I haven't found any arcane spells where I'm hungry for mana. So, I mean, I don't really find it that useful right now. Maybe you guys will? I don't know. Kill all these guys, grab the uh, curse stone. Nothing. Alright, so switch to your Owl's Feather. Teleport back. Save your game here, and I'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching.